welcome to um, this lesson of our study of nonlinear algebra so what i'm going to do is i'm going to solve a system of equation and this um is kind of different from uh, usual systems all right so i have some system here so given that you have x plus 2y plus z equals 1 and 2x plus 3y and plus z equals 3 3x plus 4y and plus z equals k and then what we've been told here to do is that, <coughs> sorry, where k is a scalar, we know k is a scalar constant, right? And does not have this system, this system here, everything, it does not have a unique solution, but it's consistent. Determine the value of k, find a general solution. So what you're going to do is that, um, first off, I said that to find the solution to such a system, you need to find the augmented matrix, right? The first thing that comes to mind is that what do we mean by it has does not have a unique solution All right so i'm just going to say this and then continue with the solution so if you have a system that has or maybe if you have a system of equations then you're going to want to find the augmented matrix which is the coefficient of the variables and then you write your these values at the latter end I'm going to have 2 in place of x, 3, and 1. So I'm just writing the coefficient of x, y, and z in each equation. So I'm going to have 3, 4, 1, and k. What this means is that um, you're going to reduce this. Okay. Um, you're going to reduce this, and since the system has not it doesn't have a unique solution so let me just mention this before like i said so if a system has a unique solution then you find the augmented matrix you know that you get and that augmented matrix what you're going to do is you're going to look at this side okay if that system has a unique solution then the matrix you form using only the side of the matrix the determine let's say if i call it a right and that is maybe this one, two, two, three, four, I mean three here, four, and then one, one, one. Then the determinant of this side of the matrix, A, this is equal, this actually, this matrix, the determinant is zero. And this is the reason why the system has no, doesn't have a unique solution. But if the determinant was not supposed to be zero, then would have a system that has unique solution i mean all right so let's come back to our problem you know what i did was supposed to show you when you can say that system has a unique solution and when it doesn't have a unique solution okay i uh, have um three here four one and then k so i know it has infinitely many solutions it's consistent that means so this word consistent means that it has a solution but it can be infinitely many or unique and then the problem uniquely or the problem is said that it has no unique solution so definitely has infinitely many solutions what we're going to do is to make sure we're going to use the Gaussian elimination method where we are going to try to um reduce this matrix okay and i know i hope by now you know how to go about that right so what you're going to do is compare these guys this is two right this is one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do two times root one i mean minus root two and that should give me a new row two and then three times root one minus root three should give us our new row three and in that case i'm going to get one two one one zero two times two is four minus three is one two times one is two minus one is one right and then two times one is two minus three is negative one and then three times this minus that is zero three times two um that is six minus four is two three times one is three minus one is two three times that i'm gonna get three minus k right the next thing is I look at the next leading value here, which is 1. I make sure that any value be beneath that or under it is 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare them. And this is 1, this is 2. So if I multiply the row 2 
by two and then subtract row three from it that's going to give us our new row three and that's going to transform into one two one one zero one one negative one zero um and that is going to be two times one is two minus two is zero two times one is two minus two is zero ne two times negative one is negative two you know minus three minus k that's gonna be um so you have negative two minus three minus k and that's gonna be negative two minus three plus k and that should give you maybe k minus five right oh, i'm sorry so sorry i'm so sorry so i have that so this is um what we have for the transformed or the reduce or maybe the echelon form of this um, or echelon form of, of this matrix or the augmented matrix so what this means is that i have x y z here and so if i'm supposed to look at the last equation it means zero in the last row going this way zero x plus zero y plus zero z is equal to k minus five and we are saying that system is consistent it means that it has a solution but if k is any other value apart from what i'm going to do the system will not be consistent for the system to be consistent since we have zeros at the variable side this side should also correspond to zero so it means that since the system is consistent it means k minus five should be equal to zero and then out of here so sorry um let me out of that point we're going to say that k is equal to 5. so that was the first point we should find the value for k since the system is consistent then this reduces to 1 1 0 1 1 negative 1 and then 0 0 0 and then k is 5 so 5 minus 5 is 0 and this becomes consistent because if i x y z if i sum 0 x plus 0 y plus 0 z that should give me zero right and then from the this row i'm going to have y plus z is equal to negative one and it means y is equal to negative one minus z right um yeah so negative one minus z and i can also say that from the first row this row i'm going to have x plus two y plus z is equal to one and that means that I'm going to write at the top here, x is equal to 1 minus 2y minus z. And in that case, I'm going to have 1 minus 2y and y is um, negative 1 minus z minus z again. Right? And that's going to be 1 plus 2 plus 2z minus z. So this is 3 plus z. All right, so x is equal to 3 plus z, y is equal to negative 1 minus z, and then z is equal to z. We don't know z, right? So this is what we have. And if you remember, in our previous lessons, what I said was, if you have such an equation where you can say x is equal to 3 plus z, y is equal to negative 1 minus z, and then z is equal to z then it means z here is a free variable so whatever z value you pick it affects everything right so we can say that if z is equal to t which is a real number then y will be equal to negative one minus t and then x um x will be equal to three plus t in that case the system or the solution to the system which is x y z is equal to x is what 3 plus t and then y is negative 1 minus t and then z is t which in the case can be split into you know um 3 negative 1 i'm picking the constants part then i'm i'm going to add it to the t part 1 negative 1 and then 1 right so you can get it this way or that way Right, so it makes sense in both ways so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed see you in our next video